celebrating engineering excellence, the fruits of cooperation and dedication of agile Transnet engineering employees in rolling out of the production of fuel tanker and container wagons to Swaziland Railway. In the aftermath of protracted and tough negotiations between Transnet Engineering, an operating division of Transnet SOC and Swaziland Railway, the Transnet Engineering Chief Executive, Mr. Tamsanka Giane, and the Swaziland Railway Chief Executive Officer, Mr. Stevenson Gubane, signed a contract on the 1st of February 2016 in Swaziland. Transnet Engineering, a renowned original equipment manufacturer OEM, of wagons, had existing designs of both the container and fuel tanker wagons, but had to modify its intellectual property to customer specifications as per the signed contract. Normally, it takes no less than three months to design and build a prototype. However, the Transnet Engineering National Project Team chose that the expertise of the design and manufacturing of wagons should work in tandem on a reverse engineering process to ensure that the requested quality assured goods are delivered on time and within budget. The Transnet Engineering Depot in Bloemfontein manufactured the new container wagons while the Germiston Depot manufactured fuel tanker wagons. Swaziland Railway requested a container wagon that was slightly different to the array of design that Transnet Engineering has. Indeed, Transnet Engineering has intellectual property of a wagon which comprises of a structural underframe operated with an air brake system and a floor plate. The modification that our customer wanted was a dual braking system wagon design, which we achieved through the use of advanced engineering process that involves both the design and manufacturing teams building a new Swaziland Railway prototype. The prototype for the new container wagon was tested internally by Transnet Engineering Product Development Team prior to being subjected to further testing by the TFR Technology Management. The customer, Swaziland Railway, through their own head of engineering, then approved the prototype prior to mass production of the container wagons. In developing the fuel tanker wagon, the Germiston Depot focused on the manufacturing of new components of the underframe. One of the key new features of the new design was to install a dual braking system design on the fuel tanker wagon through roof engineering. The Germiston Depot also had to re-engineer the fuel tank itself, which entails doing barrel testing, shot blasting structural members on the underframe, among others. Given that this wagon carries hazardous goods, it had to go through the approved inspection authorities AIA, which it passed with flying colors. Transnet Engineering would like to congratulate the sustained and relentless efforts of our Agile project team which includes employees in operations, particularly wagons, and other businesses such as product development team, wheels, foundry, rolling stock equipment, and more who immersed themselves in this Swaziland Railways project. They left no quarter to ensure that this first phase of the rollout of production of the 25 fuel tanker wagons and 20 container wagons are delivered. This was a truly night and day process of sweat and blood that came up with engineering excellence, including the redesign of existing systems to suit client requirements, completing brake calculations on the spot to get correct lever ratios among others in order to fabricate correct components during the reverse engineering process. We are proud to announce that our dedicated and capable team of employees, along with their managers in this project, have delivered quality and customer-approved wagons to Swaziland Railway safely, on time and within budget. Because we can, we shall and we will.